Today's Pet Advice segment is sponsored by University Veterinary Care Center. We welcome Dr. Travis Gratton with University Veterinary Care Center. Dr. Gratton, good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day, and it's February, which is also American Heart Month. A good reminder that heart health is important for us, but our pets as well. So when it comes to animals, when are heart problems typically detected? Um, we tend to see kind of two big categories. One, they, they get picked up just during kind of routine exams, you know, physicals, the, the annual visits in for vaccinations and that type of th thing. And then, um, unfortunately, then there's also the ones that are starting to have, you know, signs and problems and, and symptoms, and they come in specifically for that. And, and then we go on from there with the workup. What are some of those signs and symptoms of heart disease in an animal? It depends a little bit on the specific heart disease, and certainly cats are different than dogs. Um, but with, with dogs, we tend to get uh, more congestive type heart failure in the most common heart problems anyway. Uh, so it, it is coughing, it, it's an increase in the what's called the resting respiratory rate and effort. So when they're laying there kind of hanging out, doing nothing, they're, they're just breathing harder. Uh, as the lungs get congested, they, they have to breathe a little faster and a little deeper in order to exchange the same amount of oxygen and gases in and out of the lungs. Um, sometimes though, it, it's fainting um, or kind of passing out. Um, exercise intolerance is not uncommon. And sometimes, unfortunately, it's uh, more, much more serious things. Well, what are some of the, the diagnostics that can be done? Um, things are, are very similar to the human side as far as diagnostic capabilities. And most practices generally will rely on um, kind of starting with auscultation, listening to the heart, uh, the various valves, um, the, the rhythm, uh, and, and then x-rays, particularly in dogs, are often the first step, and, and that's widely available. ECGs, which is uh, something that uh, you know tracks the electrical activity of the heart, more important for some of the, the heart diseases that involve um, irregular rhythms rather than valve problems or contractility of the heart issues. Um, the ECGs uh, are available at a lot of practices. Um, and then you can get into more advanced testing. Uh, there's um, ultrasonography, or which is called echocardiography. Um, echo studies are basically using uh, ultrasound or a sonogram to actually look at the heart, uh, measure the chamber sizes, uh, look at the valves um, closing, basically how is the heart functioning. There are a lot of measurements that can be done with that of blood flow through the heart and function of the heart itself. A um, little more advanced technique, some private practices have it. Certainly there are board certified cardiologists available um, that, that do it for a living and are very good and very efficient at it. Um, so, and then kind of routine things, heartworm testing, and there is some heart disease like the muscle enzyme testing that is also done in veterinary care. Well, it sounds like if you notice something different with your pet, it's just better to get it checked out. <laughs> Yeah, it can get really complicated, um, but, um, you know, definitely want to, especially as, the, you know, certain breeds and that that are more prone to it. Uh, we do a lot of screening with breeds um, in, with some of our breeders, both dogs and cats for heart disease. So, um, but, you know, that annual exam is very important to try to check and make sure that things aren't going badly um, for many reasons. All right, Dr. Gratton, important information. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank you very much. And for more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.